So just an update on Hurricane Sandy. This is going to be a historic storm that is sure to cause havoc all along the eastern seaboard. By the time it comes ashore along New Jersey, sometime late Monday night or early Tuesday morning, Sandy is probably the largest hurricane that has ever developed in the Atlantic Basin and may go down in history as the most destructive as it merges with a nor'easter heading into the same region. From satellite photos, which I have right here, you can right here you can see that this storm stretches all the way down from the talking like south of the Bahamas to all the way up to Massachusetts here. And reports are that tropical storm force winds are extending out from Sandy 500 miles in all directions. That means the storm this was a diameter of 1,000 miles. I've been watching Hurricane, tracking them for over 40 years now here, and this is the largest storm I've ever seen, and it hasn't even merged the two other developing systems yet to become the Frankenstorm that weather experts are predicting it will become. Yes, for meteorologists, this truly is the perfect storm. There have been storms to hit the Easter seaboard around New York that turned out to be not quite as devastating as the very overly enthusiastic weathermen have predicted, but Hurricane Sandy could possibly bring storm surges to New York City two feet higher than I read did in 2011, which would be a total of like 12 feet above normal. Then we're going to couple that storm with the fact that we've got these two pre that I predicted blizzard in the Virginias from a cold front and a high pressure system from the north creating the Hurricane Sandy nor'easter Frankenstorm that the all the weather experts are predicting. The storm is expected to hit somewhere along the New Jersey coast, like I said earlier, around 2 a.m. on Tuesday night and could hook up with those two other weather systems later in the day, bringing torrential rain, 100 mile an hour wind gusts, and flooding over a huge area around New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, the Virginias, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. This is not just a storm where people on the coast have to be concerned. It will be spread out over the entire Northeast, so you need to be prepared. What are the basics you can do? If you haven't already, fill up your vehicles with gas and get food and water for several days for all members of the family. Those are the very minimum things, but believe me, even here in Florida, some people do nothing and then wait for FEMA to come in and save the day. And, you know, th this is going to be a huge storm, so don't expect that. Don't wait for that to happen. Be prepared. Beyond the basics of hurricane preparedness, we have a list over here on our blog. You can check it out. It's got a list of hurricane supplies and stuff for your kit, house, stuff for your house, food and water, medical and personal supplies. I'll link to this in the video description below this video. And also we have an interactive tracking map here at weather.com. So you can check that out, track it, see how close it is to you. Check that out. This is a huge storm. This is our latest update. Stay tuned and be prepared. Leave your thoughts and comments in the video description below and be safe.